like, yeah, I just love this now. Hmm. You know, yeah, I, I, I did wrong. I admit it, but I stopped. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's what we were doing. I was helping him to stop. Right. Ran the kid off when I found out. Mm-hmm. Is the lady here for the whatever it was? The, uh, Medical examiner? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to back it in right now. Mm-hmm. Is she gonna back in here? Yeah. The medical examiner might want to park here. Well, we're, uh, we're transportation. Oh, okay. How you doing? Yeah, All right. He fill you in? Huh? He fill you in? Am I what? He fill you in? Yeah, he filled me in. So, and I called Pastor Steve because we feed the camps out here on Friday night, on Fridays. You know this guy? Not the Preston guy, oh, okay. but this camp we drop off at another spot. <laughs> So, yeah, it's sad. So, that's, um, yeah, when we you bring food out here, yeah. Oh, good. What do you bring them? Uh, it depends. Boxes we go, and stuff? yeah, we box the food up and bring it out. Okay. Do it every Friday. Every Friday, that's good. good yeah. See, I'm not always out cop watching. I've Help feed the homeless too. That's good. Now we get the food from um, Birch and then uh, go over to a storage. It's a food uh, distribution place. And we get the, usually it's, there's like four SUVs that we fill up, take it over to a storage place, sort it out. We got like 12, cam- 12 main camps. And uh, so. You sound like you have a cold. Ah, uh, little one. <laughs> it sounds like you're going to get somebody sick. <laughs> nah. I've had it for a week, so I'm not even contagious anymore. Uh, okay, the way back. <laughs> so, yeah, what I basically heard, what it sounds like to me, it was an OD. Yeah, it could be. I just, there's like, there's at least two theories, so yeah. I'm just going to let the medical examiner figure it out. <laughs> yeah. It could be an OD. Something else, yeah. That's why it's a, it's well, a he question said, mark. He said people were up watching him tw- 24 hours a day, so but he had to leave for 15 minutes. That's long enough to get some. Oh, you think you think that's a that's when he yeah, medical examiner? Mm-hmm. That's sad, you know, because he's you know, yeah. When you're, when you're, you're the father, mm-hmm. having to find that out about your kid, that's pretty sad. It is. But yeah, I called Pastor Steve, and he's sending uh, two um, pe- homeless guys that we work with down here to talk to them and stuff like that. Okay. <coughs> talk to them about just to make sure if, they're mentally okay. Make sure they're all right. If there, is there anything they need? That's good. You know. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I, I just heard on the radio after the um, thing on 162nd, that lady with the stapler. 181st? Huh? Isn't that 182? No, 162. 162. That uh, um, the 55 was at Costco, and I go, oh, no, not the camp. <laughs> 
so God, how yeah. many people you feed back here how many people are back here i think 12 i'm not sure but we used to park over there and then costco complained about it so we stopped parking over there yeah i'll be back all right <laughs> Hmm? Yeah, they they're part of a mortuary, so they're under contract with the coroner's office. I guess I've seen the medical examiner vehicle down there. So, You too. So that's the forensics cop. He's the one that took the pictures.
So up there is the camp, but I'm not going to have an issue with the family, so I'm going to stand right here. Here they come. <sighs> you know, it probably would have been Chris. It probably would have been easier for them to just go in with a board and carry him out. Say that? It probably would have been easier to go in with a board and carry him out. <laughs> so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 